Hello families, welcome back to the channel. This is a place for agricultural business owners looking for ways to make profit from the agricultural business and also thinking of starting up an agribusiness. And today I'm back with an update for those that start a goosey and for those that are about to store a goosey because um, from now a goosey will become very cheap. Yes, as of the time I'm filming this video, a goosey will become very cheap. So I want to talk to those that are about to store Egusi. So this is an update. I know I've shot a video on how you can start a Gucci business or a Gucci storage business, but I don't think I, I I don't think I mentioned this thing I'm about to say. Okay, so for we that eat a Gucci, for we that cook a Gucci soup very well, you will know that there are two types of a Gucci. There's one that we call the Igbo a Gucci. If you are in the east, there's one they call the Igbo a Gucci, and there's one they call the Aosa a Gucci. But if you are in the southwest like me, there's one they call the Igbo a Gucci, and there's the one they call the Yoruba. Egusi. The Igbo Egusi is the one that is thicker. It has this golden back, something like this, my clothes color. Then when you peel it, when you shell it, it's thicker. Also, the Igbo Egusi is very, very, very easy to peel. And that Egusi is gotten from Nasarawa, while the Aousa or the Yoruba one that you guys know is gotten from Ninja. Now, why am I bringing this to the channel? These are two different types of Egusi. You need to know the one that your location is buying before you store Egusi. Now, one is bigger, one is smaller. The Yoruba or the Aosa Egusi, the way you call it, is smaller. And that one is very difficult to share. I wish I have the samples that I'm going to show you people because it's something I know. If you go to the market, you see that there are two types of Egusi. One is thicker, kind of very thick. It has this golden color. The other one has this lighter shade and it's kind of flat and thinner. That's how you will know, okay? So if you are storing, if you want to store a goosey, know what your location is buying. In my location, what people mostly buy is the Igbo a goosey. So if I want to store a goosey, I am going to get a goosey Igbo. Igbo a goosey. I'm not going to buy um, Yoruba a goosey. Even for people that are here, most of them, they eat the Igbo a goosey. And that's why I see that they will tell you, oh, this a goosey is 250 is hand peeled. That is the Igbo a goosey. They will tell you, this one is uh, 150 or 100 naira is machine peeled. That is the house a goosey. And you might want to ask, what's the difference? How do I know? If a son that cooks, you will know that one comes out very thick when it comes to soup when when it's prepared as soup and one is kind of lighter when it's prepared as soup so that's the difference between the two you see this you need to take note okay like i said one is gotten from nasarawa the other one is gotten from ninja okay now another thing you need to note is um when you're storing is get peeled egusi if you're storing like um let me say 100 paints of golden egusi that's the Igbo egusi if you're storing 100 paints of Igbo egusi you will get between um 90 to 87 after you finish peeling it yes but if you're storing 100 paints of the yoruba or the outside egusi 100 paints you'll be getting like 60 something or 70 something so you need to know so it's better you get the one that has not been shelled but know your calculation because when you store it after shelling it the quantity you are going to get will reduce and it's very bad if it reduces and when you're about to sell you're not selling it to the right market market are telling you that this is not what i want okay that's what i decided to bring to the channel today for those that will be storing a goosey you need to take note of this go to your local market ask them around which egusi do you people buy? Because that's the egusi you will store. You will not just decide that, oh, because the outside egusi is cheaper than the Igbo egusi. So you will not say, because this one is cheaper, let me go and buy this one. I will not leave this one. No. You are going to sell at loss. So look for what your market is buying, then you store what your market is buying. Okay. Another thing you need to know is the Igbo egusi has more market value than the Alsa or the Yoruba egusi. That's the one you get from Nasarawa State has more value than the one you get from the Niger State. So to me, I'm going to advise you to store what has value. But if you want to store the one that you're getting from the Ninja State, which is the outside of the Yoruba Egusi, if you want to store that one, I would advise you to shell it, which is actually not advisable when it comes to store because if you shell um, your Egusi before storing, there's a probability that you get spoiled. That's for those that don't know how to store properly. There's a probability that that egusi that you've shelled before storing will get spoiled because egusi needs thorough sun drying even when not shelled. So when it's shelled, there's a temperature that it needs to be stored. There's a temperature it needs to be spread 
in the sun do you understand so uh, but if you insist on getting it anyways i'm going to say you should get the one that is shared so that will enable you know the quantity so if you're getting 100 paints of shared one you're 100 sure that oh, when i'm about to sell i'm going to get my 100 paints not you getting 100 paints of unshared and when you are done shelling with machine you're getting like 70 something Paints. okay so that's what i decided to bring to the channel for those that want to stay because also our storage class is meant to start this new month but i had to postpone it because i need to draft out some things i don't want a situation where i'll be writing out um plenty plenty things over and over again i just want to draft it out so that people that are interested later or people that might see this video later can also join and gain knowledge from it and that's why i'm taking my time we have commodities that are available for storage but right now i'm still checking the price this is not the right time to store maybe from middle of november we'll start storing i'm going to carry everybody along please watch out for the community tab on this youtube channel that's where i'm going to drop the updates so you guys to watch out for it okay i hope you got value i hope you've learned one or two things from it i'm going to see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to smash the like button